Hey there fellow wanderers, welcome back to our channel where we explore the world one country at a time. Today we're setting off on a journey that's sure to bring a smile to your face. We're uncovering the secrets behind the 10 happiest countries in the world. Ever wondered what makes a country truly happy? It's a fascinating blend of elements like social support, economic stability, and a strong sense of purpose. In this exciting journey, we'll delve into these factors and how they contribute to a nation's overall happiness. We're not just stopping there, though. We'll also explore how you can incorporate these happiness-inducing elements into your own life. From the tranquil landscapes of Finland to the vibrant culture of Costa Rica, we'll traverse through diverse cultures and lifestyles. So sit tight, buckle up, and get ready to embark on a journey of happiness with us. Imagine a world where happiness is not just a fleeting emotion, but a way of life. Picture waking up to a day filled with joy, contentment, and fulfillment, knowing that it's not just an anomaly, but the norm. This is not a fantasy, it's reality in some corners of the globe. Today we're embarking on a journey to explore the 10 happiest countries in the world, where happiness is woven into the fabric of everyday life. Happiness, though universally sought, is a complex and multifaceted concept. It's not merely the absence of sorrow or distress, it's a rich tapestry of emotions, experiences, and circumstances. It can be influenced by a myriad of factors, from economic stability and social support to personal freedom and a sense of purpose. But how have these 10 countries managed to foster such an environment where happiness thrives? These nations have not stumbled upon a secret recipe for happiness. Instead, they've created a culture and society that nurtures it. They've understood that happiness isn't a luxury, but a necessity, a vital ingredient for a thriving community. They've placed an emphasis on values that often get overshadowed in the hustle and bustle of modern life. Community, connection, balance, and a deep respect for nature. From the snow-capped peaks of Finland to the lush landscapes of New Zealand, these countries have cultivated an environment where happiness flourishes. They've recognized that happiness is more than just personal joy. It's about creating a society where everyone has the opportunity to thrive. A society where the welfare of the individual is not sacrificed for the greater good, but is the greater good. But before we dive into the specifics of what makes these countries the happiest, let's take a step back and understand the historical context that has shaped them. These nations, like all others, have had their share of trials and tribulations, but it's through these challenges that they've forged their unique paths to happiness. Stay tuned as we delve into the histories that have shaped these nations and discover how they've turned adversity into an opportunity for growth and happiness. From the ashes of war and conflict, these countries have risen to become beacons of happiness and prosperity. Let's delve into their histories to understand the remarkable transformation that has led them to become some of the happiest places on Earth. Take, for instance, the Nordic countries. Their journey towards happiness is deeply rooted in their historical context. These nations, known for their harsh climates and rugged terrains, have faced numerous adversities over the centuries, yet they've managed to carve out societies that prioritize social welfare, equality, and mutual respect, all cornerstones of their happiness today. Then, there's the tale of New Zealand, a country that has cultivated happiness through its connection with nature. Historically, the indigenous Maori people lived in harmony with the land, a philosophy that still resonates in the Kiwi lifestyle. This deep-rooted respect for the environment has fostered a sense of community and well-being, contributing significantly to their happiness index. Over in Europe, let's not forget the story of Switzerland. Despite its landlocked location and lack of natural resources, Switzerland has always been a nation of innovators. Its history is marked by a commitment to neutrality, political stability, and economic prosperity, factors that have played crucial roles in its high levels of happiness. And then there's Costa Rica, a small Central American country that has punched above its weight in the happiness stakes. Despite facing economic and political challenges in its past, Costa Rica has remained committed to peace, sustainability, and social equality. This has created a society where happiness flourishes. 
The historical context of these countries serves as a testament to their resilience. Despite the adversities they've faced, they've managed to turn their challenges into opportunities, paving the way for their citizens to lead happier lives. So what's the secret? It's simple. These nations have understood that happiness is not just about wealth, but about creating environments that nurture well-being, promote social cohesion, and foster a sense of purpose. Over the years, these countries have faced their fair share of challenges, but they've always emerged stronger and happier. Their histories are not just tales of survival, but inspiring stories of transformation from adversity to happiness. Now, let's dive deeper into what makes these countries tick. What is their secret to happiness? First up, we have Finland. This Nordic gem, known for its breathtaking landscapes and love for saunas, consistently ranks as one of the happiest places on Earth. It's not just the stunning nature that makes Finns happy, it's their strong sense of community, excellent education system, and the importance they place on work-life balance. Next, we travel to Denmark, another Nordic country that knows a thing or two about happiness. The Danes have a special word, hige, which loosely translates to a sense of comfort and coziness, a feeling of contentment or well-being. This concept is deeply ingrained in their culture, and it's one of the reasons why Denmark often ranks highly in happiness indexes. Our journey continues to Switzerland, a country famous for its chocolates, cheeses, and high quality of life. The Swiss enjoy a strong economy, excellent healthcare, and a high level of political stability. Plus, let's not forget the stunning alpine landscapes that provide plenty of opportunities for outdoor activities. Next, we head to Iceland, where the population is small, but the happiness levels are high. Despite the cold climate, Icelanders are warmed by their tight-knit communities, low crime rates, and a strong emphasis on family life. Their love for nature and outdoor activities also plays a big role in their happiness. Across the ocean, we find Costa Rica, the happiest country in Latin America. Despite not being as wealthy as some of the other countries on this list, Costa Ricans, or Ticos, enjoy a pura vida, pure life, lifestyle, a strong sense of community, and an incredible biodiversity that fosters a love for nature and outdoor activities. The Netherlands, with its picturesque canals and fields of tulips, also makes the list. Dutch people benefit from a strong social security system, excellent work-life balance, and a liberal, open-minded society. Plus, they have a strong bike culture, which promotes physical health and environmental sustainability. Norway, a land of stunning fjords and northern lights, is another Nordic country that ranks high in happiness. Norwegians enjoy a high standard of living, an efficient welfare system, and a strong sense of community. Next up is Sweden, known for its stunning archipelagos and innovative design. Swedes enjoy a high standard of living, excellent social support, and a strong emphasis on equality and work-life balance. New Zealand, the adventure capital of the world, also ranks high in happiness. Kiwis enjoy a strong sense of community, stunning landscapes, and a laid-back lifestyle. Finally, we have Austria, a country known for its classical music and stunning architecture. Austrians enjoy a high standard of living, excellent healthcare, and a strong sense of community. As we've seen, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to happiness. Each of these countries has its own unique recipe for success. So how can we learn from these countries and incorporate elements of their happiness into our own lives? This question might be playing on your mind as we journey through these happiest lands. Well, let's dive into some practical ways to apply their happiness formula in our daily lives. First off, embrace a sense of community. Many of these countries have a strong sense of community and social support, whether it's through family, friends, or local groups fostering meaningful relationships can greatly enhance our sense of well-being. So, reach out, connect, and nurture those bonds. Next, let's talk about work-life balance. The happiest countries often prioritize a healthy balance between work and personal life. They understand that all work and no play can lead to burnout. So don't be afraid to step back, take a breather, and indulge in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. On to the next tip. Embrace the great outdoors. Many of these countries have a deep-rooted appreciation for nature. There's something incredibly soothing about stepping outside, breathing in fresh air, and soaking in the beauty of our natural surroundings. 
So make time for nature walks, picnics in the park, or even a quiet moment of bird watching. Another key element is to cultivate a positive mindset. People in these countries generally have a positive outlook on life, and this greatly contributes to their happiness. Remember, our thoughts shape our reality, so try to focus on the bright side, even when things get tough. Lastly, let's not forget about self-care. These nations understand the importance of taking care of one's physical and mental health. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and mindfulness practices like meditation can do wonders for your overall well-being. Remember, happiness is a journey, not a destination. So keep exploring, keep learning, and keep striving for your own version of happiness.